So Luton won, Burnley four. Wow, what a performance. That was absolutely brilliant from uh, Burnley. Um, yeah, just went at them, didn't we, basically. Um, yeah, I loved the high press that we were doing with Colio Shaw and Bettinho. They kept the energy up and the, uh, the high press. They were excellent. Um, I thought, you know, lots of players in that team uh, performed really, really well. Um, yeah, so the first goal, pretty much straightforward, I thought. Luton with a high line, very, very high line, and Burnley exploited it. They just a couple of passes and they were in. Um, very similar to the second goal, uh, just on the other wing. Um, excellent. I mean, Luton just couldn't handle the pace, could they? Uh, it, it was devastating. Um, the, the, it just, they just couldn't handle us, basically. And, uh, yeah, the third goal header, another great assist from uh, our new boy, uh, Perez. Absolutely fantastic cross. And uh, Doro Shea, yeah, just placed it in net. And uh, the fourth goal, um, the fourth goal, what was the fourth goal? We got, there was that many. Oh, Foster carrying uh, the ball um, from our own edge of the box all the way down to the other um, edge of the box. Uh, slipped in uh, Bettino and what a finish. I mean, the, the whole display was absolutely brilliant. I just loved the energy. I just wish we kind of kept the ball a bit more. It got kind of, the first 20 minutes were a bit erratic, uh, I thought. Um, but yeah, once we got the, the few goals in the back of the net, the team started to settle a bit, which uh, which I liked. Um, but yeah, I'd like to, going forward, try and keep the ball a bit more. But yeah, um, very good performance. Just a little bit disappointed with the goal we conceded. Uh, very straightforward uh, goal for them. Uh, ball coming in from across. Bettino was in a bit of a no man's land, weren't he? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, quite a bit of a poor goal. We didn't react to well enough to uh, stop Chong getting that goal. Um, but yeah, um, the the pace of our team and the energy, they just Luton just couldn't handle it. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Good to see, like, Parker talk at the end of the game. He was very, like, quite humble. He was very aware of what Luton was all about, which I really liked. He wasn't stubborn in his own way of how this is how we're going to play. He's very, looks to me, he's going to be very adaptable to who we're going to be up against and who we face. And... Um, yeah, because he was quite open about that, like the next game could be slightly different. So I'm excited to see on Saturday when we're at home against Cardiff, how we set up, how we're going to play. But I do think with them uh, wingers that we've got, the pace is going gonna to continue that high press uh, going in. Um, yeah, I think the, the man of the match for me was Lyle Foster. I thought he was absolutely excellent up top holding the ball up, um, yeah, and that fourth goal where he just ran through midfield, it, it was it was really, really good. He, he just looked a different player. Um, he looked one of like, the senior players, which which was really, really good to see. Um, I thought uh, Steve was excellent as well. He had um, some, you know, tough moments where he defended... Excellent in the first half. I thought he was very, very good. Um, but, yeah, Perez, what a debut. Two assists. Um, yeah, very, very good. Um, quite surprised Luton didn't um, put too much pressure on Trafford, really. Um, he, he fumbled on one, didn't he, where um, he, he didn't catch it, basically. And then one of the Luton players headed it onto the crossbar. But overall, pretty good performance from Burnley. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see how they play on Saturday. Come on, you Clarets. Come on.